In this video, we will discuss Armstrong's faceted drywall grid system. Faceted drywall main runners are pre-notched on 8 or 16 inch centers to facilitate easy bending on the job when you need them to the radius that you need. Faceted drywall grid speeds up construction, reduces labor, and saves the material. We will show you how to bend your own main runners when you need them for building barrel vaults, domes, groin vaults, or even complex non-standard curves. First, when you have a curved drywall project coming up, contact your Armstrong installation specialist for customized radius template coordinates for plotting out your template on the job. If custom shops are needed, we can provide those too. All you need on the job for creating your custom radius template are the radius template coordinates from Armstrong and a 4x8 piece of drywall. To get started on the job, mark off 6 inch on center increments along the 8 foot bottom of a 4x8 piece of drywall. Using your T-square, come off those 6 inch on center markings with straight lines that cut across the four foot run of your drywall. Next, plot your points along those lines from your template instructions. Stand up your drywall sheet, then insert a single drywall screw at each plotted coordinate point, leaving about a quarter inch exposed. To assist in connecting the dots between your six inch on center coordinate points, Simply drape a piece of 12 gauge hanger wire over each exposed screw. Then mark a uniform radius line with a pencil. Next, remove the wire and the screw to see the radius that you have created on the drywall sheet. Now, you're ready to cut your radius. For customized radius coordinate instructions, simply contact your Armstrong installation specialist and give them the framing radius that you need a template designed for. It's that easy. Here, the installers screw their 13 and 5 8 inch radius to the wall at a comfortable work height. This is your Armstrong prefaceted drywall main runner with knockouts on 8 inch or 16 inch centers. After a cut to each knockout, your main runner becomes totally flexible. If your radius is tighter than 15 feet, then you will need a faceted knockout every 8 inches on center. If larger than 15 feet, you will need the 16 inch on center faceted Armstrong main runner. The RC2 accessory clip returns strength to the main while holding the radius you have designed. Now, sandwich your flexible main runner to the radius with the upper piece of drywall you previously cut. This is your RC2 clip, a critical piece you will use to return strength to your flexible faceted main runner. You will notice the clip has eight holes, only four screws, one in each corner, are needed to properly secure the clip into place. This one clip will reinforce a concave or convex shaped faceted main runner. Simply orient the peak of the clip up or down depending on the shape of your radius. RC2 clips in, come in white plastic buckets of 205 pieces. There you have it, a finished faceted main runner. Now you can rock and roll and quickly crank out as many of these mains as needed. It will amaze you how fast and how accurate you can produce the curves that you will need. Here's 
how you make a dome. Or a groin vault. Barrels made easy. Or can you believe an open book? Thank you for watching this video. Please contact your Armstrong representative or installation specialist for any assistance you require.